Uh oh, we got a fan coming. Fifty dollars to drive it. You want to pay fifty dollars to drive it? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, go on inside. You'll be our first guest. Washington cross the Delaware. I shall cross that freeway. <laughs> guys, I gone and done it. I went and bought the MRAP. So guys, we're going to have a lot of fun in these videos. Now, I have never owned an MRAP, worked in an MRAP, or operated an MRAP. But in today's video, luckily, we got a veteran from the Afghanistan war here with me today who's going to give me a tour of this MRAP and show me how it works. This thing's gonna be amazing. So guys, don't go through the video too fast because in today's video, I'm gonna announce all the winners of that AK-47 thing that hangs on the wall from previous videos. So sit back and enjoy. That's so cool. I love that door. You gotta let it warm up. Boy, this thing starts up good, don't it? Guys, if you're jealous that everyone's winning all these little gun wall hangers, all you got to do is subscribe and start watching my videos. As you can tell right here, I've got plenty more of these wall hangers being made right now in AK-47s, AR-15s, shotguns, everything with the Atlas logo. So guys, don't forget to subscribe or you can't win. stand up in there well you can almost stand up right there in that spot can't you yeah almost. yeah it'd be a hell of an ambulance wouldn't it yeah all right well when do you come down the other one hand everything out and uh we'll lay it out on the floor and see what all we got with this thing is that heavy yeah huh what do you say gss wonder what that stands for Let's see what all we got. Them seats are heavy. Don't rip that rubber. All right, so there's two more. That one's got the um, Blackwater logo on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's probably a driver's seat. You know it? Yeah. You got to stop cussing in my video. Huh? You got to stop cussing in my video. It's wet. Oh, it's wet? Yes. Torn. What do you think they weigh? Oh, shit. 100, 120 easy. All right. Heavy, huh? These yeah. seats are heavy yeah. duty. Yeah, I got it. All right, last seat. So I've got one, two, three, four. I got eight seats that came out of there. Plus, I got a flip down seat that's inside there that I'm going to leave in there. This is so, the right one. So, yeah, that's the one I wanted right there. All right, so these are the seats that we're able to take out of the MRAP that we'll have to put back in. So it's got eight total seats. These must be the end chairs right here. There's two of these. And then it's got these nice big bucket seats with this little GSS emblem on the side. I don't know what that, something global GSS. And then one of them has the uh, Blackwater logo right there. All right, so what's all inside here? Let's see, what do you got? Okay, what's that going to take? You got an AR armor. Oh, that's my batteries. Now, this is what, 24 volt? This machine is 24 volt. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's the battery. I got gotcha. you. So that whole compartment opens up. Yeah. Now, you served in one of these when you were in Iraq? Yep. Yeah. There's your air compressor in your tank. No air compressor in tank for what? The air brakes. That's the air brakes, okay. So that's how you get to them to service yeah. it. All right, so how many batteries I got? Four? Yeah, four. 
So it's 24 volt. Yeah. All right, let's put the lids back on. Did you can see how thick that porcelain is. Oh, is that so? Uh, oh, that's ceramic. Yeah, that's the ceramic. Oh, that's so the. Oh, that's an inch and a half mm -hmm. almost. All right, what else we got in here? Uh, you want to start it up? Yeah, yeah. You got double air conditioning. You got air conditioning built on this side with its own. Uh, Just don't cuss. Pull. Yeah. Okay. What's this here? That's the coal for the air conditioning oh. unit on this side. Okay. This is another air conditioner unit on this side. You have the coal for it right there. Oh, right here? Yeah. The piece above it is a pressure relief valve for the door in case it jams. Oh, well, you do know this thing. Yeah. And you got a uh, fire suppression system. It's automatic. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a fire in here. It yeah. goes off all on its own? Yeah, it's automatic. What's this? Why is this off? That cap, it goes over there to cover up the... The spray head. Okay. All right. Then you got our infrared. You got infrared lighting. Which is what that blue light? No, that blue light is just a dim light. It's called blackout light. Okay. I'll show you when we cut what? the vehicle on. All right. And you got work lights right here. Those are just work blue lights. Light. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like if you're reading map. So these plates here on the side look like they come off. They do. What was that to access yeah, what? Uh, access the. Those plates, it's all that, wiring. All, yeah, all that plating is that uh, ceramic armor. Oh, really? Yeah. So it would have to a bomb would have to go through five plates, or a, a fifty cal would have to go through five plates to get through the side over here because there's three on the outside, one on the wall, then one here. Mm -hmm. That's five plus the ceramic plus beads. The ceramic. Yeah. Oh wow. So you're safe you in it, here. Yeah, you have it all the way around. Okay. So tell me about this turret. So there's a, that's the, it is electric turret. Yeah, it just doesn't have the motor. Just doesn't have the motor. Yeah, have the but motor. that's the control that's right the there. Control for it. So it's down there right now. It's on a magnet, I see. Oh, I see. He puts that on the roof then. Yes. He can put Pick that. it up. See if it'll come up. Okay, so it's a magnet. So yes. put it up there. He puts it up here. Here's a, you want to step, step? No, right? I'll let you do it. There's a gun mount right here in the front. Yeah. He steps this piece right here. Oh, okay. All right, then he can control the turret yeah. from up there. Or he can disengage the the mount the lock yeah let me make sure this lid's locked first you can disengage the lock right here yeah and it'll <clears throat> it moves a bunch it's hard to do down here yeah but well, is, isn't there a hand crank you can put on there no no it's a, it's free spins oh you have a the safeties are on it see it okay yeah you gotta loosen those a little bit yeah and you got padding right here and you got padding right here all right let me go up there so you got padding so you can lean against this all right, so there's padding, padding. You say, all right, that's not very thick. It doesn't need to be. There's the pintle. So you're up here. Yeah. You're going to control the turret with this here. Yeah. What's the, it's got two buttons here. What's the second one for on and off? One goes low and high, and the other one goes left and right. There's the pintle. It's got a lot of lights up here, too. I noticed that. Yeah. All righty. That's cool. We'll go over that. All right, what else What else we need to go over? It'll freeze me. Oh, Okay. There you go. And the gun's up there, it's a lot easier to turn. Jesus. So we can use it now even without it being electric. And you just move it over. That locks it in place. It's got teeth right here that line up. This thing is like new, isn't it? Yep. Turn it on and adjust the brightness. Really? Yeah. The knob's off. External over infrared. Yeah. See, it says infrared control. I see that. Yep. Wow. What else have we got here? This part's right here. Is the airbag discharge, which you don't ever want to fool know that. This is the fuel tank exchange right here. Oh, okay. So you go yeah. left to right? Yeah. You go left to right, and then you have a shut off, the main shut off. Now, what's that? That's the left uh, left side corner camera. That's a camera? Yeah. Watch. You're going to start it up? Yeah. Okay. So you just hit the battery. You hit the battery. Turn on the... You hit the turn on the ignition switch. Yeah. Then you hit the start button. Right. Starts right up. Guys, I've never been in this thing except for a test drive, so this is actually my first time in here, so don't think I'm an idiot. Yeah, you just turn the cans, that's it. Okay, cool. Well, I like that. Yeah. So you can open the window and shoot out yeah. of it, too. So, right here? Yeah. When it's cold? Yeah. Quick. High idle? And, yeah, and it boosts the air up faster. You don't have to sit here for 10 minutes. Okay? Okay. Cut it up. Cut it back off. Okay. You just got basic battery override, which you're never really used. You got an engine diagnostic. It's uh, basically you just make sure that everything's running fine. And your winch, you have yeah. a winch. Yeah, we don't have a winch in here. Uh, this turns on the, the dome. 
Yeah. Here. Turn it on. Okay, here we go. Those are called blackout lights. Okay, these are blackout lights. Cool. And that switch for all those is right here. Except for those, those are... Okay, they got a little switch on them. Gotcha. That turns on all these. Turn it off. Work lights. There we go. Alrighty. There's a work light. You got a 110 volt inverter, 2000 watt right here. Thing. Yeah, and what's all that do? There's uh, 110 outlets. Oh, so you can run a yeah. hair dryer in here. Yeah, there's 110 outlets down this wall and back that wall over there. 110 outlets? 110, 120 volt, yeah. They're right there. See those screw heads? Those screw heads. Yeah. Yeah. It's an outlet. It's like a wall going. Okay. Oh, yeah. They are. Regular 110 volt. Black ones. 12 volt. A little black inside it's 12. Then you got a uh, gauge mode, which where the gauges are all set fine. Then uh, this is an indicator for taking it. You can go four wheel drive or rear wheel drive, which this thing is all time four wheel drive. Okay. So then you have a uh, uh, transfer case. It shows whether you're taking it to neutral or low. Yeah. Okay. And then there's your transfer case, the, the speed. And this is ATC, it's like a traction control type thing. And here's your buttons over here to, to keep the four wheel drive in and out. Okay. Okay. Then you have a differential lock. Then you come over here. This is lights, dimmer for this. This is blackout. Okay, and that's those blue lights. Okay. Blackout lights are I think I got them off. Okay. Then you can turn the back off, alarm off if you're trying to be silent. Okay, yeah, I was yeah. beeping when you were backing up. Yeah, you can turn it off right here. Okay, you got 12 yeah. L for that's for cigarette lighters. Yeah. Then there's your AC, AC which is blown bulb. Front. You got three AC units in here. Three ACs? Yes. Wow. You got a front unit which runs just in here and the condenser up under there. Yeah. Right in there. Then you got a unit on that side, then a unit on that side. Okay, and here's your main main overhead camera. Oh wow! So directly into the back. Then you got a left angle camera. Oh wow! And a right angle then you camera. Got a right angle camera. I checked that. One. I got lucky by having my foreman available yeah. to drive an MRAP, didn't I? AC is good in this yeah, thing. AC works real good in this. And we take it to the summer fair and let people take rides yeah, in it. Absolutely. What's the uh, trailer air supply? This oh, in case we're pulling something. Yeah. yeah. You don't ever have to pull that unless you're pulling yeah. something. But, I mean, to, to crank it, you saw the procedure. Yeah. And when you want it to go, and it's automatic, you just push in and hold down for a second on here. Can you close the door from up front? No, no. You have to close it from back there. Okay. How do you close it from the inside? It's got a button up there on the right hand side. It's oh, up here? Back outside, yes. Okay, close. Hold All right. Down. And then you lock it down yeah, with this here. About that is when you, you can lock that thing in here. Yeah. It won't open the hydraulics kill. It won't open that way. They keep people from getting in it. Oh, really? But they can lock you in it. Yeah. Well, I can see that. But I got one escape yeah, there. I got this escape here. We haven't opened that one yet. It runs like a new truck, don't it? It does. Brand new. Well, we got 182 miles on that thing. How many? 182. So guys, I'll be taking this thing to shows and letting you guys ride in it. You'll be able to ride up top here on the machine gun turret. Now this thing, boy, if you're short, you gotta stand on the stool up here, don't you? I'm six foot three or four, and I'm I'm uh it's up to my shoulder right there. Hey, you know what? My stair paint's almost the color of the MRAP. There's the tunnel we'll be putting in next week, going from a basement to a bunker. I mean, if I had to, I could get 15 people in here. Hey, I could smuggle illegals over here in this thing, couldn't I? Why is that magnet not sticking this? Porcelain. Oh, that's porcelain? That's the armor. Oh, that's weird. That's so the sides 
Or porcelain, not steel. Now that's the steel right there. Yeah. Uh, AC blowing now. Alright. It's got a good AC. Shit, it's never been used. Ah! Now that's armored as yeah. well? Yeah. Is it rubber yeah. lined? Yeah, tap it. No, it's steel. Tap it. Oh. Well, it doesn't make any noise. I always wonder people like, well, the, why the gas tank's outside? Well, it's diesel, it's not going to blow up. Yeah, they are inflated. See if it's rubber lined so it won't leak. Probably is. No, it's stainless steel. Is that steel? Yeah, stainless steel. Stainless steel. You can see it down there. Oh, wow. All right, well, I'm going to run it to the gas station Ugh. and fill it up. Ouch. Hit my head. The turret's up. Keep eyes for me back there. Yeah, put down the turret. That's something I don't say every day. time to drive the MRAP to the gas station. I gotta get out of the parking lot first. Uh oh, here comes a big 18 wheeler. Let's see if this guy gets out of the road when we pull out. He's like, what the hell? He stops. <laughs> he stops. He waves. Yeah, I would too. outside you got one two quarter inch you got three eighths you got another quarter so there's four plates there you got the body then you got another plate on the inside there's six layers of protection and then the spacing is for RPG or any kind of a routes round so it'll go through and explode go turn it around. All right. yeah we'll turn it 
turn it around. I'll do it. Blackwater logo. All right, let's turn this thing around. behind it like on those tanks that's the comms yep. save me back here and all the men can walk behind this thing yep. you know i was wanting to build me an armored car i couldn't have done this good a job you know it no, it's very nice. no so i could tow a trailer with it too i just got to take this out when you do it it's got a pin here this yep. lifts up yeah Take a bunker to a show. I could drive down the road, haul a trailer with a bunker behind it. That would turn some heads, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would, right there. All right, so I got the same storage on this side as I do the other side. drives pretty easy guys I mean it's got a good power steering believe it or not the turning radius is pretty good I mean I just made it around that loop really easy in one turn all right so what I do when you when you're done you put it in neutral that's part right there you pull this thing here locks the air brakes, then you um, just hit the start, wait, 
get the ignition and start, make sure the battery is off right there. Okay, that's it. Then you, uh, uh, let's go back here. Oh shit, he locked me in. There we go. That door is my favorite part, you know it? That door is my favorite part, you know it? I love that door. Okay. That's about it. And then you just uh, wait for the people to walk up to you and go, is that an MRAP? You go, hell yeah, it's an MRAP. That's my MRAP. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to have a lot of fun in this MRAP. And congratulations to all you winners. As always, guys, put a number between 1 and 1,000 below to win one of those things. And also, the trick question is, how many miles was on the MRAP when I bought it? Okay, so guys, as always, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you on the next video.